the huge areas of the world that have never been looked at by archaeology at all. Or if looked at by archaeology, looked at only minimally. Of course, the most important are the flooded continental shelves. And that's why Santa and I spent seven years of our lives uh, scuba diving all around the world. In the annals of history, few mysteries captivate the human imagination like the legend of Atlantis. Said to be an advanced civilization of great power and knowledge, Atlantis has eluded discovery, existing only in the realm of myth and speculation. But what if Atlantis was more than just a tale? What if it was a reality lost to time? The Atlantis myth, originating from the ancient Greek philosopher Plato's dialogues Timaeus and Critias, stands as one of the most enduring enigmas in human history. Plato, renowned for his philosophical teachings and dialogues, presented Atlantis not merely as a fictional construct, but as a credible account of a powerful maritime empire lost to the annals of time. Plato's vivid descriptions of Atlantis paint a picture of a civilization unparalleled in its advancement and prosperity. According to his accounts, Atlantis existed over 9,000 years ago, thriving as a beacon of knowledge and innovation. It was a society endowed with remarkable technological prowess, far surpassing the capabilities of its contemporaries. Central to Plato's depiction of Atlantis was its maritime dominion. Situated beyond the Pillars of Hercules believed to be the modern-day Strait of Gibraltar, Atlantis commanded a vast empire that stretched across the Atlantic Ocean. Its strategic location endowed it with unparalleled access to trade routes and resources fostering a flourishing economy and cementing its status as a maritime superpower. Yet, it was not merely Atlantis's geopolitical influence that captivated Plato's imagination, but rather its intellectual and cultural achievements. Plato described the Atlanteans as possessing advanced knowledge of science, engineering, and metaphysics. They were masters of architecture, constructing magnificent cities adorned with monumental structures that defied conventional engineering principles. Moreover, Atlantis was said to have harnessed the power of crystals, utilizing them in various technological applications. These crystals, imbued with mystical properties, served as a source of energy and enlightenment for the Atlanteans, fueling their pursuit of knowledge and enlightenment. Some interpretations suggest that Atlantis was located in the Atlantic Ocean, beyond the Pillars of Hercules, modern-day Strait of Gibraltar. However, others propose alternative locations, ranging from the Mediterranean to the Caribbean. One of the most compelling theories places Atlantis in the region of modern-day Santorini, known for its volcanic activity. The cataclysmic eruption of Thera around 1600 BCE devastated the island, leading some to speculate that it could be the inspiration behind Plato's description of Atlantis's demise. But what set Atlantis apart from other ancient civilizations? According to Plato, the Atlanteans possessed advanced knowledge of science, engineering, and metaphysics. They were said to have harnessed the power of crystals and conducted experiments with energy manipulation. The notion that Atlantis had mastered the art of space travel is one of the most tantalizing and controversial aspects of the Atlantis myth. While it may seem fantastical at first glance, this idea sparks profound questions about the capabilities of ancient civilizations and their understanding of the universe. Proponents of the theory point to various passages in Plato's dialogues that hint at Atlantis's advanced technology and exploration beyond Earth. These interpretations suggest that the Atlanteans possessed knowledge and expertise far beyond what was known to other ancient civilizations. They propose that Atlantis may have developed spacecraft capable of traversing the cosmos, venturing into the unknown reaches of space in search of new frontiers. But how plausible is the idea of ancient space travel? Skeptics argue that such claims are purely speculative and lack concrete evidence. They assert that ancient texts, including Plato's dialogues, are often allegorical or symbolic, rather than literal accounts of historical events. As such, interpreting passages about Atlantis's technological prowess as evidence of space travel may be stretching the bounds of credibility. 
However, advocates for the theory point to anomalies and enigmatic artifacts found in various archaeological sites around the world as potential evidence of advanced ancient technology. They argue that these artifacts, ranging from intricate metal objects to peculiar rock formations, defy conventional explanations and hint at a lost civilization with capabilities beyond our current understanding. In light of recent advancements in space exploration and technology, the concept of ancient space travel may warrant further investigation. As our understanding of the cosmos deepens and our technological capabilities expand, it is conceivable that we may one day uncover evidence that challenges our preconceived notions of ancient civilizations and their place in the universe. Ultimately, whether Atlantis truly mastered the art of space travel remains a subject of debate and speculation. However, the idea sparks imagination and curiosity encouraging us to explore the mysteries of the past and the possibilities of the future with an open mind and a sense of wonder. In Plato's narrative, Atlantis's downfall was as swift as it was cataclysmic. A series of natural disasters, including earthquakes and floods, purportedly submerged the island beneath the waves, erasing all traces of its existence from the annals of history. Atlantis, once a beacon of enlightenment and prosperity, became a cautionary tale of hubris and divine retribution. Plato's accounts of Atlantis have captivated scholars and enthusiasts for centuries, inspiring countless theories and expeditions in search of its elusive remains. While skeptics dismiss Atlantis as a mere allegory or philosophical allegory, others continue to scour the oceans and continents in pursuit of tangible evidence of its existence.